Well, folks, this morning I want a breakfast of champions. I'm going to do steak and eggs, kind of like you get at the Waffle House down south. But we're going to step it up a notch. We're using one of my favorite cuts of meat, and that's bison. Ordered it from our friends up there in the Dakotas, Dakota Pure Bison. This is sirloin, top sirloin. It's an 8-ounce steak. We're cooking it on the griddle. Y'all pull up a chair, set a spell. We have a steak and eggs. Well, folks, we're going to get started this morning on our steak and eggs for breakfast. You know, Waffle House has become famous for that. Now, those that don't know where the Waffle House is, well, I feel sorry for you. Now, I will admit, it's been a long time since I've been to one with all that COVID stuff, but steak and eggs. Well, Sunday morning, I got a craving for some steak and eggs, but I'm going to do mine a little bit different. Today, I'm going to use me a bison steak. My good friends at Dakota Pure Bison, I buy it from them, have it shipped down. Now, I got this here bison steak. I can get it out of the bag right here. Should use my fingers, but I'm going to put that on that griddle right there. We're going to get a little bit of a sear on it. And we're going to put it to the side and do a little slow cooking on it after we get this here sear. And we spoiling ourselves today. This here uh, bison steak is a uh, sirloin. I took it and smacked it around a little bit, thinned it out just a little bit. That is an eight ounce top sirloin. And nowadays they're packaging it a little bit different. So it is actually one in a package now, which is kind of handy. So I took her out, probably I thawed it out. And all I did to that is I wanted it real simple. I put a little bit of seasoning salt on it, put it in a bag, threw a little bit of Dale seasoning on it, just a little bit. It's liquid, so you don't know about Dale's. Touch of lime juice in it. And like I said, salt and pepper. I put it in a bag, let it marinate in the fridge for about 30 minutes and pulled it back out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let this here sear a little bit, and then we're going to move it over here, and we're going to kind of slow cook it. Now, the way we got the griddle set up today, we got our about a medium-high heat right here. Right here is about a medium and a medium, and this here is a low, and the whole grid will come up to temp, and I'm actually going to turn this, make sure this is turned all the way down to low. So I guess I had it just a little bit open. I got that little rack there. So after we get this seared and we cook it a spell, to let her rest, we're going to set her on this here rack and uh, we'll let the juices get going and all that good stuff in it while we cook our eggs. Yeah, we're going to cook our over-easy eggs. If you don't like over-easy eggs, that's fine. You cook what you like. There, we got a little sear on there. But I want me a bit of a bit of an over-easy egg. We're going to add just a little bit more oil up in there. There we go. We got a little bit of wind blowing today on a Sunday morning. A little bit of wind blowing, so it's, you know, it's affecting our heat a little bit. But that's part of cooking part of the adventure of cooking, especially outside, I think, is you got the elements going, and I really enjoy that. We're going to let this here sear for a little bit, and then we're going to put it over here. Now, old bison steak, I like it. Now, with bison, if you're one of them type fellas or ladies that want that sucker cooked all the way done, you might not want to eat a bison steak or buffalo as we were all raised, because you're going to be a bit tough. Yeah, okay, we got a nice little crust on that. So let's set that right over here. Put a little earl down right there. We're going to let her cook a little bit slower right there. Now, if you want to, you can put your little dome over that. Um, you know, hold your little heat in, but we had a dome over it. You couldn't see it. I'm going to scrape this little bit of char off of there. And I'm going to do like I do. I'm going to throw it out there in the yard. Oh, Mr. Frost wants to lick it up. He can lick it up and enjoy it. Now, I like to keep me a little old meat probe. You can test that, you know. See that right now is still real, real rare. Once that tightens up a little bit, you can tell that it's more done. Or you can get you one of these here meat probes. I do not buy that high dollar thermo pen or whatever it is. This here's a javelin. Got this off the old Amazon store. I think I've had this in about five years. I bought several of them. I actually lost the battery cap. 
I think it is under my stove because I dropped it. I'm trying to put a battery in it. So a little duct tape. You know, that'll work it up good. You got a hillbilly fly every time. But these things work real good. They're very cost effective. I guess it's a little warm out here. Look at that. That's just the heat. 106 right there. That's just steam coming off the drill. Let's stick her in there and see what we got. It's about 87, 86 degrees. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that come up slow, like I said. And uh, I want to bring her up to about a 125, 130. If you want a little bit more done, well, you do that. I just would not recommend a well done because well, you might not be able to chew it. Bison's a pretty lean meat. I really like it. It's got a little bit different flavor um, than beef. And like I said, I, I ordered this in from South Dakota. And uh, folks up there at Dakota Pure Bison have been real good to, to purchase from. I'm always top notch service. And I'm the type of person, if I get good service somewhere, I don't like to change. I believe in loyalty. So. I keep buying from them and having it shipped down here south. Now, is it a real cheap meat? No, it is not. If you're one of them fellas who wants everything for nothing, you probably ain't going to get you no, uh, no bison. It costs a lot to raise that animal. It takes a lot of land, especially up there in the northern plains where everything's real thin. The grass is thin. You got some hellacious winters and whatnot. So, I like to use this as a treat for myself. Um, I'm real fond of these sirloins. Really really enjoy the way they're packaging this now being in a single that's just real nice i'm gonna turn this side over here all the way off and uh, i'm gonna let that cool down ain't no sense of wasting that gas we don't need it so we're gonna let this here we'll let this sit on that griddle right there we're gonna let that heat level on that for a spell and we'll check her in a few minutes well, I went in the house and got me an old stainless bowl. I keep a lot of them around. I'm going to toss that right over there just for a couple minutes, help hold a little bit of that heat in. We'll cook just a little bit faster without burning it. Um, you know, a little bowl, or you can buy the one of the black stones you got with the lids on them, or do like I do, take your old stainless bowl and put you a, a uh, you can buy a magnet, put on, put your little handle, put your washer up underneath. Them stainless bowls, of course, you know, a magnet will not stick to it, so... Put your little washer up inside of it. You've got you a cheap uh, little dome. I didn't need to get the big black stone one out because, well, it's just a little steak. So we're going to let that do that. This side over here is a cooling down. And that's what we want because when we get ready to do our over easy eggs, the trick I like to do is, is cook them on a, on, a, on a real low heat. A lot of times I actually just turn the burner off. Um, I may not use this side, probably just use this side because it's just not as hot. This right here is still pretty old scorching, so. Let's see how that looks right there. Now, if you're using a bowl like this, you might not ought to get a case of stupid and reach over and grab that with your fingers. If you're going to burn them, I can tell you from experience. I had a case of stupid and did that. Did it with a pan on the griddle. All right, now we're at about 118 right there. We're getting close. I'm going to take her out about 125, I think. Now, what you can do a lot of times, uh, if you want to help get something done a little bit, you want to put a little moisture, especially if you're putting cheese on something, you use the old stainless bowl. Just keeps you a little bit of water under there. And uh, well, that melts cheese and everything real good. Now, you can do that with your eggs, too. What we probably do, is we got this bowl out, we'll do one egg with that and one egg just regular. And uh, if you're afraid to try to flip your eggs on the griddle, then you can use that bowl and just put them down and, and just use the bowl and skeet you a little water in there and steam it. So we'll let that sit for a couple more minutes and uh, we'll get ready to do us up some eggs. Well, it's been about another minute, minute and a half, I think. Let's take a gander at her and see what we got right here. Well, one twenty-seven. It's in 25 right there. Let's see what we got. Right there is about 138. So we're going to go on and pull that off right there. We're going to let it rest a spell. Clean our griddle up a little bit. 
guess we better put this in a probe down we've done stuck ourselves that might smart a bit and clean that off a little bit and what i like to do is keep me a little bottle that's an old bottle from a bike shop when i had me one of them fancy bicycles was trying to ride a little bit of weight that little old thing hurts your butt that seat they put on it I ain't got the bicycle no more. Still got the bottle. Works real good for putting a little eating water in there. We got it cleaned up a little bit right there. And like I said, we're gonna do one egg on the uh with the dome on it. We'll ski a little water on it. We'll do one egg right here. We got a little earl on there. Let's see, that's still got pretty good hot. This right here, we actually cooled this down with some of that water and scraped it off. No, y'all wasn't looking. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be nice. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna crack our eggs. Crack that one right there. We're gonna throw that egg shell out right there, Mr. Frosty. He likes to lick up an egg and do all that. Now, what we're gonna do for season, I like my egg real simple. Just a little old salt and pepper. Alright, that'll work right there. We got them salt and pepper up. Now, on this one, we're gonna skeet a little water. Let's do it like this. Look at that, we got a little egg stuck to it. Skeet you a little water on there. Oh boy, look at that, I messed that one up. See, we're not gonna edit that out. I think I broke that yoke. She might have survived, we'll find out. And if you edit out everything, then it ain't reality. Rather have reality, so everybody messes up. You know, a lot of folks don't try stuff because they're worried about messing up. Mess up, it ain't that big a deal. It'll be fine. Now, like I said, this burner here was the one we had on on a medium high when we were doing that searing on that steak. I turned her off, skied a little water on her, and that helped cool her down. And uh, you see that slow cooking right there. See how that egg steamed right there? Yeah. That's what that little old dome. We scoot that little bit of water in there. It's still got a little bit of yolk in there. It ain't perfect. Well, we'll take that one. Let's grab her, flip her over. I'm gonna take a look at this steak while we got it here on the griddle. This should be pretty rare. We'll go on and Put a cut in it. See what she looks like. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Grab us a plate. We're gonna throw that on there. Let's just use them tongs. We got them right there. We got that. I'm gonna grab this here egg. That we messed up, see? Don't be afraid to mess up. Let's grab that one and slap that one right there. We got that one a little done too. But hey, that's what it's all about. Well, that old steak looks pretty old sporty right there. Let's give her a slice or two. See what we got. I got her a tad bit done. A little bit more than I really like. That's fine. You know, a lot of times just the enjoyment. Well, see, we cutting this up real time. We ain't gonna make it all pretty and everything. You know, I've had folks ask me, well, that bison or, you know, we, we all call it buffalo. You know, that's how we all raise. Technically, it's American bison. That's well, expensive. I say, yeah, it ain't real cheap. But you know, if you want something nice, you got to pay for it. I think as Americans, we've just become way too cheap. 
a lot of folks don't care nothing about quality. It's all about how cheap they can get it. This is a treat for me. Now I got my eggs. Like I said, we did one with a little steaming. Easy way of doing it there on the griddle. I did one I just flipped. Neither one of them are perfect. It happens. I'm going to add me a little bit of Cholula hot sauce on there. Yeah. You know, I feel fortunate that I can have this kind of breakfast. It sure is good eating. I'm going to take that steak right there. Look at that. Give me a little bit of that over easy egg. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty old sporty. Mmm. Well, like normal, you're going to hear me doing a little smacking with that microphone close, but like I said, folks, I did the old, just a basic seasoning on that steak. Salt and pepper, a little bit of a, just a general steak seasoning. Got me a few flies flying around. That's what happens when you have horses and cows nearby. But uh, put her in a little baggie, let her marinate a while, a little bit of olive oil and a touch of lime juice. That lime juice has helped break in proteins down a little bit. Let's get a bit of this egg right here. Try not to get it all over. Now, I like an over easy egg. Touch a hot sauce. The only thing I'm missing would be a little bit of toasted bread. Guess I might need to make some. Huh. Well, Folks, I appreciate you stopping by. If you'd like to get you a little bison or buffalo as we were raised to call it, reach out to them folks up there at Dakota Pure Bison. You can go to the website, dakotapurebison.com, pick you out some, throw it in your shopping cart. And if you're watching, you can get a 5% discount on there. Enter the coupon code, Papa Chad, and uh, you save you 5%. five I know that don't seem like much, but 5% is better than no percent. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.